YouTube friends, Tracy McGovern's Tracy Sews here. I just went through all of my fabric. So um, I pulled it all out and I was trying to make some decisions about what to make. So are you indecisive sometimes and you just don't know what to make and you don't have a project, but you're maybe have like a whole weekend where it's like, I could sew, I could make something but you don't know what to make? Well, I think I have some tips to help you because I just went through and told my friend like how I decide what I would like to make um, when I'm just really unsure. So tip number one, what color thread is in my serger and sewing machine? So that's, that's a good indicator that I could just easily sew something and not have to change everything. So right now black is in there. So I pulled out my fabric stash and number two was what fabric did I buy with my own money that I really like um, that is also black. <laughs> so I pulled all that out and I'm like, okay, here's two things that I spent way too much money on that I absolutely love um, that are both black or white, black and white. And um, then the next thing, now this took like an hour and a half. The next thing I did was started going through my patterns and I would pull my patterns out and I would say, okay, like, is there enough fabric for this? Is this something I would wear? Is this something I have made before that I like? So I settled on what patterns have I made before that are tried and true, and tried and true meaning that they looked great, they fit, and I loved wearing them. So I settled on a couple. So those three things helped me to make a decision of what I really would like something that is a certain color something that I bought the fabric and I love it, and something that is wearable that I know I can make really easily to get my sojo back. So I'll show you what I picked. So um, this was my new fabric that came last weekend, and this was one of my block prints. And you see up close, it's a block print of Hocking Hills, and we've got the trees, um, we went to John Glenn um, Observatory and saw Saturn and saw like shooting stars. So we got shooting stars and we took our van and our van is, um, Jeffrey calls it a recreational vehicle, but it actually has a bed in it. And we took our van and camped in the bed and it was just great memories. But I bought this and I had no idea what to do with it for one it's got the print going all the way across, which means I'm not gonna wanna break this up into little pieces all over my body. So that made it a great big challenge. So I went through my patterns and I'm like, okay, what kind of things would be good that aren't cutting up a lot of little tiny pieces for a large print? Um, and I settled on this. I had made this 1972 stretch and sew pattern one other time and I absolutely loved it and it actually does look just like the picture when it comes out and I wore this dress so much that I wore it until it fell apart. So the dress was also very easy. It has three pieces, that's the back, the cup, and I asked myself why haven't I made this again? because I have to have stretch lace. So I had stretch lace in my stash from one of the swaps and it wasn't enough, but it's really wide so I can cut it in half and serge it. So that took care of that. Now for the second one, when we were in New Orleans visiting my uncle, I got this fabric at Promenade. And it's a little bit of a stretch. I think it's a stretch twill. I really like it. It's not too thick, but it does have a little bit of weight to it. And again, it's black. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a large print. I love it. It's really cool. 
what could I do with this that's not gonna look like just a hideous clown because it's so big all over my body and I'm really a tiny person. Well, pulled out this 1960s pattern. I made this in a class and when I did the sew along with my um, person, I just did it out of a cotton fabric. Um, I know that the bust is about two inches too big already, so I already know everything. And again, it's a very easy, simple 1960s pattern that I can make really, really quickly and, um, and not have to break up the motif and the front or worry about that. So now here's the next dilemma. And what would you do? Which one do I make first? They're both easy, they're both fun. Which one do I cut out? Because I could probably do one this weekend and one next weekend. Have some cool things to wear to the pool and some Saturday outfits to go to the market. But which ones should I make? Okay, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked my three tips of how to help pick out your next project. And I will see you soon. Tracy McGuffers, Tracy says, Dayton, Ohio. I run a large, facilitate a large meetup group and we do swaps. We've got the next meetup for summer at Wright Memorial Library in Oakwood, July 19th. We're gonna have a swap and a sew-in. We do all kinds of things. Um, the group is on Facebook, Dayton Designer, Dayton Garment Designer Meetup. We've been around for eight years. Um, I work, I rent a studio at Rosewood Art Center and I do alterations on mostly dresses there. Um, I'm on the Arts Council, so I volunteer and um, I love to sew and make dresses. So if you want to find me on Instagram, I'm just Tracy Sews and you can see some of the things that I make if you like. And that's it, Tracy McGowfresh. Have a great day. Bye.